Hey everybody, Amy, this is, this is King. Um, I don't know if you missed my video earlier, <clears throat> but one of our volunteers, Johnny, called me as I was heading back to the rescue house and he found a dog that was, he couldn't even tell it was a dog. Let me just start off by saying that, okay? This dog, King. Um, the reason I know his name is because as I was feeling around his body, okay, and every inch of his body was completely, completely, this I couldn't get off, okay? This is how thick the mats are on this dog. He's approximately a year old, maybe two. Um, this is his tail, okay? All this is matted right here, his entire tail. Um, these are his legs, okay, over here. I cut all of this is his legs. This is his entire body underneath him. I can't even get his elbows because it's so close to the skin. His entire underside is the same. I couldn't see his eyes. I, underneath his neck is just completely all mats. Now, let me tell you something. That is nothing. All of this is what I have cut off of his body. All these stickers were stuck and embedded. All of this came off of him. I've been cutting and cutting and cutting chunks of chunks of matted fur and the stench that is, he let me do anything to him. He is so sweet. Um, the stench that is coming from this poor boy, he is rotting, rotting. Um, he's as sweet as can be. Come here, baby. It's okay. Hi. I know. I've carried him outside three times to see if he would go outside and do anything. He hasn't peed or pooped for me. Um, he wouldn't eat. Uh, he took a little couple of licks of water. And there was a tag as we were feeling around him on his neck, all in here. It was so embedded in his neck. There was a collar that was is so filthy, um, and as I was feeling, I couldn't even put my pinky in between the collar and his neck. He was panting and panting. He couldn't even breathe. That's how tight that the collar was around his neck. So there was a phone number, um, and as Johnny and his brother were here, and I hung up, I stopped the first video. I called the phone number. And the number, I'm so upset because I'm reading a few of the comments, like, I would keep a dog from its owner. Let me tell you something. A dog in this condition and the stench um, and the fact that he's not skinny, he's being fed. So I know from experience, this dog is being fed on a regular basis because he is not skinny. There's no ribs or anything. So which leads me to strongly and firmly believe is that he's living outside in this condition and he is being tossed food. There was also a second dog with King and unfortunately and sadly they were not able, he's exhausted, they were not able to get him. Uh, when they left here they spotted him uh, and he ran back to um, a neighborhood. So we're gonna head out there tomorrow and um, this is abuse, okay? This is animal cruelty at its finest, at its finest. I'm telling you, if you could sit and smell what I'm smelling right now and cutting all, this is just a portion. There's more in the trash that I cut off this dog. I've been sitting on the floor and cutting as much as I can to make him feel comfortable because all these mats, his limbs were attached to the mats that he couldn't even walk. He couldn't even move freely. Um, yes, I'm going to shave him tomorrow. Um, it's late. I had to get all the dogs out, but I wanted to make him at least as comfortable as I possibly could until I get him in with the groomer uh, tomorrow. So I'm reading some comments. Oh, Amy, you're not the law. You know what? Screw you. I know I'm not the law, but I also know when I see an animal cruelty case and an abuse case, and I'm not going to go and and think, you know, give this dog back to where it came from. I need to find out why this dog is in this condition. Um, so I called the the phone number on the caller, and this guy answered, 
and he was he sounded slurring his words and I asked him if he was missing a dog his dog I said are you missing a dog and he said oh the dog gets out lives in the yard gets out all the time I know he has a bad haircut a bad haircut really a bad haircut now it makes me sick to my stomach thinking what other dogs do they have in their yard that are living in this condition so I will tell you I'm not gonna let this go um, I am going to follow up he is not microchipped like I said he had a collar that was so tight he could barely breathe I couldn't get my pinky in between the collar and his neck um, I just have been sitting here and trying to just make him feel comfortable. I gave him some wet food, dry food, fresh water, some treats. He won't touch anything. Um, this is just one handful of what I have cut out of him and the stench, okay? There was an elastic band tied around one of the mats. There are all of these little big, long, prickly things. How would you like to be walking around with these stuck to your body, okay? Makes me sick. Why are people getting animals? Why are they keeping them in their backyards? Why are they, why? Why do you want a dog if you're gonna do this to a poor innocent animal? This is a sweet baby. He's about maybe a year, year and a half, two tops. King, come here baby. I can do anything, I can. Let me see. Oh, there's my good boy. There's my good boy, I know, all under here. This is his neck, okay? I can't even touch his neck. I can't, the smell that is coming from this poor dog. So I can't even feel his neck right here. And his legs, you see all this? His feet, all of this is all matte. Look under here. Look at this. Look at this. And this is, I cut so much, guys. I'm gonna cut this too. But I've cut, he's not neutered, he's still intact. And his entire, every inch of his body. And the smell, this poor baby. I mean, look at this. This is his arm. This is his arm, okay? He has to be sore and uncomfortable. But I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer and cut out some more. Um, and just try to get some of these huge clumps out of him um, his nails are just his feet are black his nails are curling in oh, I just can't I can't I don't understand why people have animals look at this dog's face it's okay hi king his belly's making all kinds of noises he came from Oakland Park in a neighborhood around the corner from us and this is, we actually rescued about a year ago, three dogs in this condition. And there were more um, when we were on the street trying to catch them. And we got three and we obviously did this and groomed and, and medically treated them and neutered them. And we got them adopted. Um, unfortunately, back then there were a couple more that ran from us and we couldn't find, I'm sorry, buddy, we couldn't find them. So um, I think these are the, the same from the same neighborhood, to be honest with you. And he came out and he wanted help. Johnny said he came up and he, his brother said he wanted help. So I'm just so grateful that we can help him. I mean, I want you to look at this. Look at this. Look at this poor baby's face. <laughs> Makes me sick. His life's going to change now. okay baby you're okay I'm gonna go and finish cutting away this is just a portion that I cut off of this poor dog and I'm gonna get all of this off this is animal cruelty at its finest I'm sorry, I'm just disgusted. I'm sick to my stomach seeing animals treated like this. There is no excuse, absolutely no excuse for this. But I'm going to start cutting away and getting the rest of it and um, just let him get... I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to get that out of your eye. I'm sorry. It's okay. He's so sweet. He lets me. It's like he knows I'm trying to help him. 
Your life starts now, King. My prize exhausted. All right, guys, I just wanted to update you that I called um, the number on the collar that was embedded in his neck that he couldn't even breathe. It was so tight. Um, and the whoever answered. And I called back three times total. Um, the first time he was slurring his words and told me, oh, that dog, those dogs get out all the time. I know he has a bad haircut. Second time I called back, he was breathing heavy, hung up. And the third time he hung up on me. So, so be it. I just want to focus on finding the other dog that was with King because that dog is in the same condition as him. And now he's alone living outside. So everybody, please welcome King. Um, I will be looking for an immediate foster for him. So anybody, he's like a Yorkie Terrier. <clears throat> and this is what I have cut off of him so far. And I'm going to continue to cut off a little bit more and uh, let him just rest. He's got cushy beds. I'll put the TV on. He has food and water. And then um, I'll be in at 7 in the morning. So your belly's making all kinds of noises, baby. I'm going to fix you up, I promise. I'm going to try to get him in um, with Michael, our groomer, so we can get everything shaved down and just get him a bath because he smells so bad. Just so bad. i got to get this off. All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. This is Amy with King 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades.